Today we're going to assemble your dragster. This means we've completed all the finishing and the painting steps. To begin the process, let's look at what we need. We have two rear wheels that are kind of racing slicks, and we have two front wheels. I've already placed one front wheel on an axle. Uh, the way I do that is I like to get a scrap piece of wood. In this case, I'm using an old CO2 car block. And place the axle on the top of the block, and then you can push the wheel down onto the axle. If you don't put something under the axle, the tip of that axle actually can do some damage. Like if you pushed it into the countertop, you might make a hole or a scratch in there. Once you've got the axle and wheel assembled, uh, what I like to do is put a straw through my uh, axle hole. Uh, I found that by putting a plastic straw in there, it, it makes the wheels turn more freely. It acts as a bearing surface. So I slide the straw in and line up the end, and then just cut it off with a pair of scissors. And I'll do the same thing in the back, where I'll slide the straw in, line it up with one side, Then all that's left to do, of course, is to put the axles in through the straws. I found that by using a small brass washer uh, between the wheel and the side of the car, I, it kind of gives me a little clearance. So I put a brass washer on first and then insert the axle. Put on another brass washer for the other wheel. And set my car down on the countertop and then I can press that right in there. And I have my rear wheels ready to go. You can see that they'll turn quite freely with that plastic straw in there. When I put the front wheels on, let's put another brass washer in. Slide it through the straw. Place it down on the counter nice and straight. If you don't have everything lined up, you could break the wheel, so you want to be careful and push straight down. And now I have my wheels and axles on.